Good morning. It's Monday. I just got out of the bathtub. It is raining. It's been raining all night. All night long it rained. And I was getting ready to clock out this morning. And someone was, who was coming in, they were like, you're going to get drenched. I was like, great. I did. Walking from the building to my car, I got soaked. Um, it is still raining out right now. It's kind of cozy. You know, cozy weather. And so it's like... Even though right now I don't feel particularly sleepy, I just want to be cozy, you know? He's, he's, he's nibbling at my, he's nibbling at my elbow. He was, I should say. He's so frisky right now. It's time to relax. Look at the little pink part on his Anyway, you guys, so I got the, look, look, look what he's doing. <laughs> Ow, not my back. I got the Natasha Denona Tropical Palette. I finally got a Natasha Denona winner. I really like that palette. The, the mattes are are wonderful. They're easy to blend. They're pigmented. They're just, they're great. The shimmers so far are awesome. I used the, uh, the yellow one. I'll show you guys later. Maybe I'll do like a quick look. It's really coming down out there. Oh yeah, it's really coming down. Anyway, I think I might lay down for a little bit. So right now, I either have a cold or this is allergies. Listen. <coughs> I have this cough with congestion, and I had that before I started feeling crappy. I had this cough, congested cough, for like a week or two. Not, a, not two weeks. I don't know. Anyway, I've had it for a while, and my face feels... Like, I have a pressure headache, like a sinus headache. I just don't feel good at all. So, <sighs> this breathing thing, though, it's really annoying. I talked to one of the ER nurses, and he said that allergies can cause um, cough with congestion. Like, my nose. But I've been using Nasacort. It's just not helping. And now, like, my ear inside. I don't think I have an ear infection, but... It, like, deep inside my ear just itches and itches and itches. And so, like, I've been pushing right here to kind of, like, scratch it. And then what ends up happening is my neck starts to get itchy for some reason. Like, that my ear being itchy inside is making, like, this whole area itchy. Oh, my gosh. I'm like a, I'm like a walking allergy disaster. <laughs> anyway, I think I am going to lay down. I bought the blob on Amazon. I had it on iTunes, and then I don't know what happened, but all the movies that I bought on iTunes years ago, they just disappeared. So whatever. Um, but I bought the blob yesterday. Not the, not the original one with Steve McQueen, but the remake from the 80s. I've been on this 80s kick. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Why are these pills so big? <coughs> I don't think this, I don't know what this is. I keep thinking to myself, how does, you know what's funny, this is so, so dumb. Every year I go through this. Every year I get sick. Every year I question whether it's allergies or it's a cold. Honestly, I don't think it matters. What matters is that I feel like crap. <laughs> Why are they so big? Look at this. They're huge. You guys want to see what I got? I told you what I got. Why does it make my neck itch? My itchy ear makes my neck itch. This pencil is so pretty. So pretty. Charlotte Tilbury. It is called Bronzed Garnet. Look at this. I've used it twice already. Look at it. I took it, I, t I need to sharpen it already. 
Let me swatch it for you. I really like this a lot. It's like the perfect blend of bronze and the perfect blend of like red garnet. It's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's so pretty. I think it's so pretty. There it is, blended out. <clears throat> um, it's very gloomy outside. Very, you could probably tell. Very gloomy, and it was. It just stopped raining about 40 minutes ago. Stop doing that, Sam. Just lay down. Just lay down, puppy. Lay down. All right. So it makes me nuts. I put the blanket on my bed so he can lay up there. And what does he do? He gets up. Does his little spin and then he does like this to move the blanket out of the way so that he can lay down. I don't get it. What? You're laying on a blanket. That's on top of another blanket. Just leave it. Oh, this, this palette is beautiful. Beautiful. I have used one, two, three, four, five, six of, seven of the eyeshadows in here. I really like it. I can't wait to use that one right there. But the mattes, the mattes are are really nice in my opinion. Um, this this one called Lemon Limoncello. This lime, this yellow one here is really very nice. And this one, it swatches shimmery but it's more of a sheer shimmer and I'm sure that one would go on nicely like with a finger or if you wanted to apply it wet or if you just wanted a sheer layer of color these three colors here will most likely not get used there's always a few shades in an eyeshadow palette that don't really appeal to me I tried to at one point use all the eyeshadows in a palette because you're paying for it so you want to at least try it so I might come up with some kind of look using those, but it's not something that I would, you know, necessarily reach for. Alright, I'm done. Uh, I, like the, I like the eyeballs. It's a lot, though. It really is. I knew it was going to end up being a lot. I, I wanted to initially <clears throat> wear it so that it wasn't overboard but I I'm not in the mood for liner and I couldn't just leave it the way it was on the upper lid so I had to do something along the bottom so that's why I decided to just sort of make it look a little more sort of diffuse on the bottom and kind of smoky so I like it I feel like it's pretty Good morning. I am going to Ulta. It's 10:25 on Tuesday morning. It's a lovely day. It says it's 79 degrees outside right now, but I don't think it is. It's a little bit. I'm not going to say it's cool, but it it doesn't feel like 79 degrees. If that's crooked, I apologize. I had to smoosh it in between some sunglasses. Um, you ever have sunglasses in your car and you don't know where they came from? <laughs> There's a pair of sunglasses in here that aren't mine. I don't know where they came from. It's not these. They're resting behind the camera. So I'm going to go into Ulta and look at a few things. And then I'm going to go into... Uh, Hobby Lobby because I'm thinking that I want to get one more flower for my little bouquet display and I also am making something for I showed you guys yesterday for my palettes my palette rotation and I feel like I need something I don't I don't know yet I need to do something with that border on the top and I'm not quite sure if I just want to paint it or if I want I don't know yet I want to look around at Hobby Lobby and then I might check out Five Below. I've always really liked that little store. You can find some interesting little things in there. So that's the plan for now. All right, you guys. I always, I always hate the fact that I'm too, 
I don't know, self-conscious or nervous or whatever to take you guys into the store with me. But I just went into Five Below, Ulta, and then Hobby Lobby. Look at this flower. I needed another one for, you know, my little arrangement that I have. Look at how pretty. I think that's going to fit in nicely. Then, I originally went into Ulta to get, hold on. I originally went in there to buy the Anastasia palette that, I don't know, the newest one. I can't remember what it's called. But instead, I ended up walking out with this. Um... I have not been in this Ulta in probably a month, maybe longer, maybe like two months. Anyway, they have Morphe in there now, Sleek, um, they have, what else did they have that they didn't last time? Anyway, they've really expanded, but Ulta is so cheap they won't let you use the coupons on these anymore. So I'll show you which one I got. I was eyeballing this one anyway. Oh my god, you guys, it's all the oranges and all the reds. It's like, oh look. Oh my god. It is, it's beautiful. Look. I'll show you better at home, but we're out in natural light. Oh my goodness. It looks prettier out here than it did in the store. I feel I made a very good choice. I was looking at the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I just can't with her. I don't know. It sucks. I really used to like her. And then, I don't know, I just, you know, you can, I guess you just kind of grow tired of people. It doesn't have anything to do with anything other than the fact that I just kind of got tired of her, that's all. It's funny because people like to imply that YouTubers are jealous of each other. That might be the case for some people, but for me, it's not. Jacqueline and I are not even in the same, like, category. She's... We're just not even, we're not even in this, oh, I already have my seatbelt on. I got something from Five Below too, um, but I'll show you when we get home because it's not actually, like I got a table and some lights, so I'll show you when I get home. I am dying of thirst though, I'm out of my drink. So, yeah, I'm a wuss when it comes to vlogging in stores. I really wanted to show you guys the... I really wanted to show you the extended section in Ulta. It's just so hard because people stare and I don't know. And my camera's big. It's not like it's a small camera. Actually, it is a small camera, but the lens is huge. All right, I'm gonna get something to drink and then head home. All right, I'm home. I got the orange flower and this is going to fit in nicely in here, I think. You know what I did like an idiot? I left the house, I didn't make my bed, and I left my bedroom door open. Guess who got on my new clean sheets? That's right, Sam did. So now I have to rewash them. Yeah, that's going to look really nice in there. I just felt like it needed something else. Yeah, I like that. It added a, the right amount of color, but it's not sitting correctly. <laughs> So I'm going to have to come back and mess with it. But for right now, I'm going to leave it because I need to I need to eat something like right now. And I need to put my sheets back in the washer since the dog decided that he wanted to get up there. It drives me nuts when he gets on my sheets. And I'm normally really good at making the bed before I do anything, but I didn't today. So now there's dog hair all over it and it drives me nuts. So I got these lights from Five Below. They're lantern lights. Aren't those really nice? And I like that the cord is white. I didn't want green or black. They had some that had green. Um, they had they had some. They were actually called lantern. They look not lantern. What did what were they? <coughs> they kind of look like light bulbs. I can't remember what they're called, but the string on those, the strand on those was black, and then the other ones, the 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 globe lights, it was green, and I'm just like, no, no, no. And then I got this. It's a metal table. So 
Did I show you guys this yesterday? I can't remember. Anyway, oh yeah, because I want to rotate through my eyeshadow palettes. So this is my OxyClean container. Look at the mess I made. I stenciled on these white circles, and then I just kind of went through and made designs through them, and then I sprayed it, because I'm just kind of messing around. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I might paint over it and undo all this, but I just wanted something sort of funky and messy. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I like it, so I might put another coat of paint on it and undo all this. Um, I'm really excited to try this. You know what kills me? I wish I wouldn't have thrown away all my boxes. Do you guys remember all the makeup boxes I had for all my palettes? Why did I throw them out? I really like Morphe's new boxes. They're kind of sleek and chic looking, aren't they? Hear that? Second nature. Man, you guys, I just look at how nice the, the, the writing, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of classy looking to me. Um, oh. You know what I really like that they have done? Check that out. All the eyeshadows are named so that when I use this in a tutorial or whatever, I can say, okay guys, I just put ruby on my eyelid or you know what I'm saying I swatched this when I was at Ulta yeah. if you're into these kinds of colors you need this palette in your life that's it for sure look at it it's beautiful I just painted over it and I kinda like it so what happened was um, I had old paint on the lid that I'm using to pour paint on, so I had white and I had a very light version of this blue and then this blue color. So what happened was when I put the sponge brush in, the white and the dark blue, they kind of mixed, so I got this, do you see, wait, there, can you see the white stripes? And then some of the, the dark blue from the spray, the spray paint that I put on here, I kind of like it. <laughs> this is the paint that I used. I just used this chalk paint. It's called Agave. Look at how pretty. Isn't that a pretty color? I really like that. My head is hurting. Honestly, all I want to do is just lay down. I don't really want to do anything. I don't want to make dinner. If I'm going to be honest, I get really tired of making dinner sometimes. Like, sometimes I wish that it could just be a make your own dinner, make whatever you want night, every night. I get tired of cooking sometimes. I guess I'm going to go start on dinner. Good morning. Um, I've actually been up for about an hour or so. I have a really bad headache. And I'm still very, very tired. Last night I had a headache. I fell asleep on the couch. And um, I fell asleep with my jaw clenched. Because I, I know that I fell asleep that way. Because when I woke up, <clears throat> my, um, my head was hurting and my jaw was achy. So I had a headache and it wouldn't go away. So I took some Advil last night, some Advil PM. And I was hungry, but I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of eating eggs. So I was like, what else do I eat? Couldn't find anything else, so I just ate eggs again. But this time, I had them over easy. Anyway, I don't even know where I was going with this. Oh, just saying that I've been up for a while. But I've got another headache. And I can't figure out why. So I just checked... <clears throat> I just checked my Instagram because sometimes the man sends me stuff, like funny videos to look at, and he sent me this one, and it says, family friend went camping 30 years ago and heard a noise. She stuck her camera outside her tent and snapped this picture. It's a, bu it's a bunch of raccoons. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I would freak out if I saw something like that. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to film the eye part. I'm not going to do like the whole face. I just figured it would be 
kind of nice to do like a, um, a quick first impressions of this palette. I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to do this eye look without a mirror, you know, because I'm talented like that. I think I'm going to get rid of this palette. This is the purple palette from Morphe. I just, I never ever reach for this ever. Uh, the color I use the most is like this one and then that one. And I have used that one quite a bit, but I don't know. I'm just, I don't like it. Vanda actually gave me that palette. And then I was thinking about getting rid of this one because I definitely don't use this. This is the taupe palette. And a lot of these colors are just a little too cool for me. I don't really like them. And, um, I don't know. I've swatched a couple of them and they look really pretty, but I just, there's a lot of bronze shades in here. That one's pretty. Hey, Wub. Oh, where's Dad? He had to, he's working late tonight. So why is both of the car... Oh, he's taking the Mustang? Yeah. Is the basketball hoop still in the street? I don't know. I didn't see. I, well, I, if oh, it is, can you put it in the garage? It's got to get off the street. Yeah. Anyway, so I just don't... I don't think I'm going to keep either of those. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? I'm going to start with this color here. It is called Universal. Do you want to know how come I know that? Because look at what Morphe decided to do. Alright, so we're starting with Universal. Yeah, we're going to start with this one here. On a 221 brush from MAC. This is going into and above my crease color I'm going to use. Oh, it's so exciting. I think I'm going to go into this color here, which is called, should we do brick or terracotta? Brick. We're going to do brick. It's a little bit darker. That's going here. So that's going like kind of on the lid and into the outer crease. Let's layer a bunch of colors, shall we? We're going to go into heat. Heat, heat, heat. All on the same brush, because why not? Do any of you follow Nick or Sam from Pixie Woo on Instagram? So she recently posted a picture of Instagram makeup that was done I don't know if it was done by her daughter or her daughter instructed her I'm not sure but she referred to it as Instagram makeup what are they talking about exactly is are she talking about like totally smoothing out her face or the application because honestly that eye makeup didn't really look that much different from the stuff they normally do I mean apart from the blue on the lower lash line, but that pinkish color she had on her upper lid, I mean, that looks like something she would wear or make a tutorial on. I didn't quite understand what she meant by that. And then in one of her stories on um, Instagram, she commented and said that her and her daughter decided that they didn't like that kind of makeup on her because it didn't suit her. What the heck is she talking about? I don't know. I love those two, but sometimes they act a little snobby. Alright, we're going to darken this up. We're going to go into this color. Chestnut. We're going to take chestnut. I'm going to use this little blank canvas brush because I really want to work this into my crease. And I'm keeping chestnut just in the outer corner. I'll take it onto the lid as well, but I'm really wanting to make sure that I work that into the crease and slightly above. Alright, so I'm going to put Pure on, which, which is that color right there. Finger. I'll start with my finger and then go in with a brush.
Hi, sweets. All right, I'm going to wet it. A little bit of water. I'm really liking how this is looking. <clears throat> oh, yes. Oh, yes, I am. All right, and then what I decided to do was take this color, Sizzle, it's called Sizzle, this one right here, and what I'm doing is, on my finger, and I'm tapping, in, tapping it on in between the lighter and the darker color, because I like a nice gradient. I like colors to, you know, graduate into each other, fade into each other. I am going to venture out of that palette for just a moment and I'm going to take a little bit of this color here from Star Crushed Minerals. Chocolate Cherry Cake. That's what it looks like. It's really very pretty. On that blank canvas brush. I'm starting with a little because it's really pigmented. back into this Morphe palette and put a little bit more sizzle. Just like that. It's pretty. I like it. You know what's funny is I wanted to do an easy look not that this is hard, and to a lot of you watching, this is not going to seem difficult. You probably, oh, there was a really pretty butterfly by the window. To a lot of you, this is, you know, something maybe that you do daily. But I also know that there are a lot of people that like to wear one or two eyeshadows. So I think, honestly, let, okay, you know what, here's an idea. Let me know what you guys think of this. A little series of quick eyeshadow looks where you use just maybe one or two eyeshadows. Let me know what you think about that. I could do like four or five looks where you're just where I'm just using, you know, one or two eyeshadows, keeping things really simple and easy. Let me know what you think about that. This, however, is beautiful. And I think I'm gonna go into the Tropic palette. And I'm gonna take this limoncello. I'm digging it. All right, I am going to finish up the rest of my face and I will show you guys the end result. All right, I'm done. I just did like a really super fast job on my face. Um, I feel like this little troughs that I have here under my eyes are really collecting powder. So I think from now on, I'm gonna have to be really careful when I'm putting on powder there because it's just, it's sticking and I'm having a hard time getting it getting it to move. So you know what I used for highlight? I'll show you guys. It's a MAC oh cripes. It's a MAC eyeshadow. <clears throat> it's an extra dimension eyeshadow and it's old. It's in this little duo here. I used that one. But I can't even tell you what it is, but it's got a bit of iridescence to it, so see there? It's pretty. It looks like some of those highlighters that you buy, you know, for $30. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on the eyeballs real quick, and I hope it looks okay. I don't know. Um, I'm having a really difficult time blending in my crease. Even though I'm using this teeny brush, I'm still kind of getting this line here where the eyeshadow is on my eyelid and it's on this part of my brow bone, but like right deep in the crease. I'm, I'm not able to get it to lay down properly. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's just normal effects of age, you know, and you got to kind of accommodate and switch things up. And 
I, I'm finding now the older I'm getting, the more I'm having to really work hard at symmetry because I've got one eye and it's this one that's coming down a little bit lower than this one. Um, it's, um, it's starting to become a lot of work, but it's okay because I still enjoy it. The day that I stop enjoying putting eyeshadow on is going to be a day somebody's going to receive a whole lot of eyeshadow. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to the Walmart. We're back. I got cold all of a sudden. You guys want to know what I've been eating lately? As a snack, when I want something sweet. So I've been taking this. I use the fat-free Faye, Faye, Faje, whatever, Greek yogurt. It's a plain, no flavor, no vanilla, no nothing. And I've been mixing it with um, jelly, right? So I like, I buy the Polaner. It's a little more expensive, but it tastes really good to me. So I mix it with some of that, and then I got this. This tastes amazing. Hi. 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 What do you need? What do you want? Uh, I mix it a little bit of this and it's country apple butter from Dickinson. I don't think it's going to focus because, you know, you pay $500 for a camera that doesn't focus. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, I got some of this. It tastes amazing. It's really good mixed with that Greek yogurt. It's awesome, actually. I'm watching R.I.P.D. Have you guys ever seen it? This part of the movie makes me ill. When he's eating the Indian food and his mouth is like full and the guy that he's questioning, every two seconds he looks like he wants to throw up and it, it really makes my stomach tart, start to feel like it's turning a little bit. Oh my God, he's like burping and he starts to get a little... He's starting to get a little sweaty and he's going... You can't eat during an interview. That, I, I don't want anyone to more. It's more. so gross. This part is so gross. I hate it. My dinner is done. And you guys know by now that I always make way more food than I can eat. I do it all the time. I think it's a habit. It's just kind of a bad habit of cooking for so many people for so many years that it's just, it just happens. But sometimes my eyes are too big for my belly. <laughs> so... Here's my, my taco or nacho salad. I've only eaten a very small part of this and I'm already full. And then here comes the vulture. Do you know, he never, when we first got him, he never begged like that. It's a very bad habit that he learned from Daisy. Daisy, I love her to death, but she's like a scavenger. And it, it seriously makes me crazy. If I'm standing here eating and something drops on the floor, before I even have a chance to pick it up, she has already come over, eaten it, and escaped within seconds. Uh, it drives me, it drives me crazy. Um, but anyway, I just finished watching R.I.P.D. and I don't know what else to watch. As I was coming back and putting the battery in my camera, Sarah called. Hi, Sarah. Isn't this weird? I just hung up the phone with you. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Anyway, I keep getting hot and then cold. Right now, I'm feeling hot. What is this cat eating? So I left chicken up here because I have I gotta clean up my mess. I wanted to eat first. And I wasn't gonna eat this chicken. I didn't actually like it. I felt like it was a little rubbery. And I cooked it on the grill for a long time. It wasn't undercooked. But I just didn't I didn't like it, so I didn't end up eating the chicken. But Gato is, look at him. Gato is eating this chicken. And the dogs are just like, hey man, what's going on up there? How come that cat is eating all that, all that chicken? Let me have some. All right, I need to clean up my mess now. Good morning. It's Thursday. We're going to eat. We're in the Mustang. Loud. <laughs> this used to be my car. It is no longer my car. <laughs> I used to love this car. This was one bad car. Now it sounds like it belongs on a drag strip. 
and it takes nitrous oxide. The back seat is full of parts. That's well, not for this car. It's not for this car. My mistake. It's for the Tahoe. Are we going to the? Are we going to uh, the cafe place? Is that where you'd like to go? Well, I figured since you're driving this way, that was where you were going. It doesn't matter to me. If you want to go to the omelet cafe, we can do Let's that. Let's go to McDonald's. All right, I'll get a, I'll get a <laughs> egg white McMuffin. And then I'll eat when I get home. <laughs> they finally put the sidewalk in. Hold on to the camera. Look at this, finally. It only took a year and a half. for a couple hours I just I haven't been feeling too good I blew my nose and I got this really sharp pain in my ear and now I feel like I feel like there's a bubble or something in my ear and I can't it's just it's really annoying me no don't play with that you gotta leave it be Gato is up here look at him he just he just has to, he just said, why do they do that? I don't know enough about cats, but he's just got to rub on everything. We've had him for a long time. You'd think I would know this stuff, but I, I just don't know why they do that. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure what to do right now. I don't know. 
Kapo! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Oh, yes. You gonna bite me? <laughs> Am I getting near your no-no spot? <laughs> this whole area. Actually, his whole body. <laughs> Gato! Oh, yes. Who's a good gato? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> what? He's frisky right now. Look at him. He's being lovey-dovey. He's being lovey. Do you know sometimes he actually will fall off like the bed or the counter? I've seen him do it. He falls off. Oh, good gato. Gato! Yes! Gato! <laughs> Are you being lovey? Are you being lovey? Look at all this hair. This is what causes me problems here. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like he's gonna grab my arm like any second. See when that tail's going like that? You're in the danger zone. I just finished filming this look and I couldn't tell the whole time that I was making the video if the it was bright enough. I couldn't tell if it was too dark because I've got the bright lights from the window. Like I have the, the all the sun is at the front of the house now. So it's really super bright. Plus I have my diva ring light over here because what happens is I get a little bit of a shadow behind me. So if I put the light there, it kind of helps to eliminate, you know, the little bit of shadowing that I have over here. But what sucks is the whole time I couldn't tell if I was too dark, if I was too bright. I'm just, I just, you know, after all this time, you'd think that I would have this down, that I would have it right, but I don't. And it's, it's a constant source of agitation. Every time I want to sit down and film, you know, I think to myself, is this going to turn out? Am I going to end up having to scrap this video? Like, it's a little agitating. He does not like it when I stare at him in his eyes. He'll stare back at me and then he'll bark at me. <laughs> I think it makes him really uncomfortable. Sam. <laughs> I'm gonna get that toy. I'm gonna get that toy. You give me that toy. <laughs> I just had to throw another one of his toys out because he ripped a tiny hole in it and he pulled the poor thing's voice box out. <laughs> that toy has lasted the longest of all of them. Look at him, he's trying so hard. He wants to get the squeaker out. <laughs> <coughs> I need to edit. I just um, uploaded all my video to the computer. And now I hit... Do you know how many times he's fallen off the bed? Anyway, I need to edit. I really like that picture of me. That one right there.
That's unedited, right in front of the window. The natural light makes your skin look awesome. I stuck my finger up his nose. He didn't like that. <laughs> I'm surprised that he let me get that close. <laughs> Look at that one. She's being a creeper. Anyway, I'm sitting on the floor. The man's asleep on the couch. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> Can I help you? <coughs> the man's asleep on the couch. Wyatt is outside playing. I'm kind of bored. I'm not bored. I'm just feeling kind of lazy. It's already, it's almost five o'clock. Hey now. Daisy's here. He doesn't like it when Daisy comes over. Because then that means that the attention's not on him. Do do. Hi. Hi, little girl. <laughs> He's trying real hard to get that squeaker out. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and edit a little bit, I think. I have been really bad at vlogging this week. I keep forgetting in the evenings to pick the camera up. I just honestly, I haven't been feeling very good and I started feeling really bad about two hours ago and I'm just, I don't know, I feel exhausted. And I have to stay up late tonight because it's Thursday and my neck <coughs> is hurting. <coughs> I feel like I might have viral meningitis, which I'm pretty sure I've had before. And I get sick like this, and my neck starts hurting, and I know I've got a fever, and um, viral meningitis goes away on its own. There's really nothing you can do about it. But I always get my neck, not always, but when I get sick, my neck hurts and feels kind of stiff. So, I don't know. But it's an it's annoying and I really felt like I was getting better but I don't think I don't know I don't think I am anyway that's it I'm gonna go so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week have a great weekend and I will see you all yeah I will see you all again next week and I have a video coming up on Sunday it's a makeup tutorial so look out for that all right bye guys <laughs>